Let me see. I want to 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 see. Wait, really? Is it for you? There's uh -huh. another clue for Corbin. It came! Yeah. It's been like four days, hasn't it? Our adventure car. So the kids have been so excited about hopefully getting another clue in the mail that they've been checking the mail every morning, but they forget <laughs> that the mail comes in the afternoon sometimes. And I was just driving home and I saw the mailman leaving the neighborhood and sure enough, they had he'd brought a letter and the kids didn't even notice. All right, let's see. Uh, I have no idea what it's gonna say. Yeah, me too. It's just like, hey, here's your big time code. <laughs> Oh, that looks official. Yeah. Royal Museum Archives. There's a card right here. There's a tiny one. <laughs> a tiny note. Oh, top well, secret. Sorry, Don't look. Right Wait, did you say top secret? I wonder if the people that are sending these know that you're just a little kid. They probably think he's like an established professor at a college or something. Knows all that. Whoa! Was that the top secret one? Yeah. Did you just say what the butt no? What the butt no? What the butt no? Whoa. It says, Dear Corbin, hi, I'm Levi Sawyer. I hope this letter finds you well. The reason I am writing you is this. I am. I was having tea with my Aunt Flora the other day and she told me something I found rather upsetting. Is it, uh, Flora Smart? Oh, yeah. Oh. From the first letter. And she told me something I found rather upsetting. I'm the curator here at the Royal Museum Archives. You see, and it is my duty to, and my honor to preserve and keep safe all important, <coughs> interesting, and curious documentaries. <laughs> documents. Our, record, our records go back five centuries and we take great pains to protect them from damaging forces such as humidity, transport, excessive handling, and pirates. Okay. Aunt Flora told me she sent something to you. She did not tell me what it was exactly, but she muttered something about a curse and told me it was sent by regular post. This is unsettling as rare as and ancient documents should always be transported in special airtight, temperature-controlled containers. It is also unsettling that she sent it to you. It's Not that I have out. anything against you. I don't even know you, for goodness sake. The problem is that all original documents simply must be kept here in our archives. If anyone wants a document for their own records, it is our practice our practice to make them a copy. Oh. I have made you a copy of a very old and important map that you may find very interesting. That was the one that was... Um, in the... No, over there it said something like Stumpy Joe has the map. I have also enclosed a key that was filed with this map under Unsolved Pirate Mysteries. I don't make a practice of sending old keys away from the archives but once you realize that what you hold in your hands could lead to vast amounts of buried treasure, I'm sh certain you will make the journey here at once. Oh. I'm also certain that as soon as you find your treasure, you will return to me the key I send you now, so I may restore it to its proper place. And then all will be as it should be in the Royal Museum Archives. It is also my sincere hope that you will bring with you whatever it is my Aunt Flora found in her wall. I have no doubt that it is of great historic value and belongs here in the archives. Like I said before, I'm not sure what exactly it is that she sent to you, but if you would be so kind as to leave me a voicemail describing it, it would allow me to prepare the paper, proper artwork and filing strategies, etc. We take seriously our work here at the Royal Museum Archives. I have attached my card with my phone number, and you can call me anytime, day or night. Until then, I beg you to please refrain from handling any important historical documents with grubby hands and or examining them at dining tables littered with crumbs. Well, that means that none of you guys can look at it. 
because you all have grubby except hands. Me. <laughs> and except me. Let's see how grubby your fingers are. Nope. Wait, wait. P.S. Don't forget to call. Any details would be really, really helpful. P.P.S. If anyone asks you any questions, like Nigel P. Silver, for instance, please don't tell him anything. And then this is the copy that he made of the map. This. I think it's a girl. He? Wait, what's the name? Levi Sewer. Levi? I think that's a boy. I wonder if this is where he wrecked his ship or whatever, and then he, he carried the booty and then buried it near the V or whatever in the cave. Do you remember that in the clue? The first. We should call that number, huh? It said, call the number and leave me a voicemail with the details of what my Aunt Flora, was it Aunt Flora? He yes. said, leave me a, a, a voicemail with the details. Wait, do you guys feel like you could trust this guy? Oh, I've attached, with, I've attached my card and phone number and you can call me anytime, day or night. Oh, never mind. And on it's my sincere said, hope that you will bring in whatever my Aunt Flora found in her wall. I have no doubt it's pretty historic value. Not ex not sure exactly what it is she sent you, but if you'd be so kind as to leave me a voicemail describing it. So he wants you to send a voicemail describing what it is that Aunt Flora sent you. How long you. can the voicemail be? Oh, like not very long. 30 seconds maybe? I'll get the note. Okay. And then this is the copy of the map because they never send originals. Are you ready to call it? Yes. What is going to happen? You reached the private voicemail of Levi Sewer. I may not be able to return your call for some time as I am out looking for something very important. If you have something you would like to return to the archives, please describe it in as much detail as you can. Say, is it a document, for example, a map, a letter? Would it be written plain or in code? So, what kind of code? And have you cracked that code? What does it say? Help a guy out here. Leave a message at the tone. Please leave your message after the tone. Yes. When yes. done, hang up. I don't know what it's the pound key. Hello, Levi. Uh, so. The, we found, we got a letter from your Aunt Flora. You uh, sent us a letter and wanted us to call you. And there was a message that was coded and uh, we figured it out. It was the pig pen cipher uh -huh. and we decoded it. And it says, I wrecked in a creek near V. Dot, dot, dot. I walked up the river and deposited the riches in a nearby cave. So we're not quite sure what that means, but thank you for sending us the map and hopefully we can figure out where that is. We're really excited. Anyway, thanks, Levi, bye. That is really weird. <laughs> that was cool though. Yeah. What if, what if Levi knows more about this? Yeah, I did. That would be kind of cool. What if he called back or something? Maybe. I'm really curious now what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Man, this is such a mystery. I wrecked in a creek near V. I walked up the river and deposited the riches in a nearby cave. This is the actual map? I wonder if this is the creek that he walked up. Or if this is like a large body of water and this is that where he wrecked. That looks like a large body of water and this looks like a land. It does. One other thing I forgot to say. We forgot to tell Levi that, that, your, that his aunt sent us another key too. Right? Because she sent us not only that but he's... coded message, but she sent us a key too, right? If anyone asks you any questions, please don't tell them anything. Well, that's, that's if it's somebody else, like them. Nigel. Nigel didn't ask us any questions. He just sent us that, that pirate's um, letter. That is just so strange. Well, we can give him another version. Should we send him another voicemail and just let him know that we also got a key? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do it this time? Yeah. Okay. Also, just another voicemail. We found a top secret key that she also gave to us in her letter. And Flora sent us a key a too that was in a tiny bag. There you go. But we don't know where it goes to. Yeah. We don't know what it goes to. So, bye.
<laughs> Good job. Good job, Corbin. I'm not a master of speech. <laughs> That's okay. Well, um, maybe Levi will send us something else, or... Maybe we could send him a text message. We'll just have to keep looking at that map and see if we can figure it out. You guys, if you have any ideas or any idea what where this map might be, or if you've been able to help us solve any of these clues or puzzles, please don't hesitate. Leave us a comment below. We're trying to solve this thing, and we could really use some help. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, really excited to see what comes next. Mm -hmm.